Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know I have to admit it's good to see that every so often more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk especially the new links page which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word with prayer. Lord I ask that as I read your word you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 24 He said to Moses, Go up to Yahweh, you and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and send to the elders of Israel, and worship from a distance. Moses alone shall come near to Yahweh. But they shall not come near. The people shall not go up with him. Moses came and told the people all Yahweh's words and all the laws. And all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words which Yahweh has spoken will we do. Moses wrote all Yahweh's words, rose up early in the morning, and built an altar under the mountain, and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. He sent young men of the children of Israel, who offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of cattle to Yahweh. Moses took half the blood and put it in basins, and half the blood he sprinkled on the altar. He took the book of the covenant and read it in the hearing of the people, and they said, All that Yahweh has spoken will we do, be obedient. Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Look, this is the blood of the covenant which Yahweh has made with you concerning all these words. And Moses, Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, and Sunday of the elders of Israel went up. They saw the God of Israel. Under his feet was like a paved work of sapphire stone. But their skies for clearness. He didn't lay his hands on the nobles of the children of Israel. They saw God and ate and drank. Yahweh said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and stay here, and I will give you the stone tablets with the law and the commands that I have written, that you may teach them. Moses rose up with Joshua, his servant. Moses went up onto God's mountain. He said to the elders, Wait here for us, until we come again to you. Look, Aaron and her are with you. Whoever is involved in a dispute can go to them. Moses went up on the mountain, and the cloud covered the mountain. Yahweh's glory set up on Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. The seventh day, he called to Moses out of the middle of the cloud. The appearance of Yahweh's glory was like devouring fire on top of the mountain in the eyes of the children of Israel. Moses entered into the middle of the cloud, and went up on the mountain, and Moses was on the mountain forty days and forty nights.